Okay, everybody else seems to be doing it, so I guess it's my turn. This is my aquaponics system. Now this greenhouse I bought over at Harbor Freight and put together. It took me quite a while. But let's go into the greenhouse here and see what I've got set up. Now these are my homemade Dutch bucket systems. And basically they are set up on a small pump with uh, drippers on the narrow tubing. And you see the narrow outlet tubing here is the same tubing as the inlet. Now uh, these drippers go between one and two gallons per hour. And this is set to run four times a day. This lettuce here is only about uh, a month old. I actually took it from another area that I had it starting and moved it into here into these Dutch buckets. Now the drippers, like I said, are set up at two gallons per hour. This thing runs about four times a day. Here's my tomato plants. I bought these over at Home Depot as little bitty seedlings. And already having been in here for about a month, I have little bitty baby tomatoes. And I am just tickled pink over these little baby tomatoes because I really didn't think I was going to get tomatoes to grow in this system. Now this one over here also has one little bitty baby tomato going on. So it's really amazing. Now this, these tubs are uh, flood and drain. And there are four flood and drain tubs. Now these guys, I just set up these three weeks ago. I have some beefsteak tomato in here that's going to get transplanted outside because this is the end of December. It's the day after Christmas. Um, I have red onions that I'm starting to transplant around because they're just way too thick. Uh, this is carrots. I also have celery planted in this. And as you can see, they're all starting to come up now. This is an heirloom type of cucumber. Now I planted this again right into this system. This has been in this system for just over a month, these cucumbers. And coming up, coming up, coming up, as you can see right there, I have baby cucumbers. Now I put this in just to let stuff climb up here because I have some snap peas. I have some snow peas. There's some more little baby cucumbers. And I've been picking the peas off of these. Now these don't look that great because they were actually planted in peat moss first. And I just transplanted them into this system. Um, out of They were in the peat moss in buckets in here. And it was just too wet. So I took them out, rinsed off the roots, and then put them back. And they're starting to green up. They were really yellow. Now these were planted into here uh, just three weeks ago. Same thing with these lettuces. There's some head lettuce in here. I've got lots of bib lettuce also. You can see some of the onion that I transplanted out of the one tub into here. This one, I had a problem with the drain. It was overflowing. And so everything was continually being covered in mud because I was lazy and I did not wash my gravel. Bad girl, bad girl, bad girl. Now everything is all run off of this one 60 gallon tank, which I have let get ugly. And the reason I've let it get ugly is I have tilapia in this tank. And tilapia love green water and algae. And so I really don't feed them a whole lot. I have some, you see the duckweed kind of up on the sides because this is running right now. And uh, the duckweed is up on the sides there. And they're eating the duckweed. Uh, I've got other little water plants in there. There's some anacaris and guppy grass and that kind of thing in there. And so I only feed these guys maybe once a day. And they're, other than that, they're getting, I give them the flowers that fall off of my cucumber. By the way, those heirloom cucumbers turn red. So I really can't wait to see what those heirloom cucumbers are, are all about. Now, the thing that I really love is this. This is a riverbed system that I put together using standard uh, PVC downspout. And it's uh, six downspouts. And basically, I cut them in half. So I have 12 grow beds here, and this is just run on a riverbed system, and again, all this comes out of this one tank, and everything is just doing totally awesome. Now, some of the stuff is a little yellow, only because I don't have enough fish in the tank. So i got to put a little bit more fish in the tank, and that will take care of the yellow by increasing the amount of nutrients in the water. Now, the neat thing about this is the water drains up from the fish tank, comes in right here, goes straight up. I had to do an overhead in order to get an even flow. Goes straight up, comes across here, 
and then comes into this and then I've got these divided into four units so it, it will evenly fill all four of these water comes across the system goes down here to the end and you're not supposed to have anything in these end caps I have avocado seeds but once they start rooting I have to pull them out of here so it goes into the ends and then drains down into the next grow bed and that this comes up to oh about here is where this tube comes but it goes down into the next grow bed fills up the next grow bed until it gets into again right about here so these things stay a little less than halfway full is the way I have it set and continues to do that floods each of these grow beds comes back down floods this bottom grow bed and then comes out through this manifold that I made down here and goes back into the fish tank and this is a continuous run this runs on a timer and this one goes four times a day these are on timers these go four times a day and this is another little experiment here these are little 10 gallon buckets that are uh, have wa just water in them and a little pump and the gravel and I have a type of crawdad in here that is self cloning so they're only females of the species and uh, they reproduce approximately a hundred young every 28 days once they're mature so the purpose of these little crawdads is going to be to feed my bass, feed my tilapia, and give, give a few little extra goodies here and there. Now these have only been set up for a week. And I planted these about four days ago. And I already have little things starting to come up, as you can see right here. And right here. This one's doing a lot better. I've got lots of little plants coming in here all over in here this is all doing really well now these are some seeds I bought from an heirloom seed company so I'm really curious to see what's here this is a uh, ruby red leaf lettuce and I'm waiting for these to come up there's a few up here this one is a broadleaf bativon I have no idea what that is I can't wait and this one is considered a prize head leaf lettuce and like I said, I've only got one coming up in this one. We'll see what happens here. But this is my aquaponics unit. Oh, I got cloning beds down here. And this is a little experiment. It's going to be uh, what I call a poor man's aquaponics system. And basically, I take fish water from my fish tank, goes into that soda bottle. And this is the cap for the soda bottle. I had to seal it. Um, but this goes down in to the, into the bottle. This one goes over to these grow beds here. This one goes to my air pump, and it's going to run on a timer. So when the timer kicks in, the air from the air pump pressurizes this bottle. This bottle fills these grow beds until the timer shuts off. And when the timer shuts off, gravity is going to feed this water from these grow beds right back into this bottle again. Now I take this bottle water out of my fish tank, and after it's been running the grow beds for a week, I'll throw it back in the fish tank, and I'll have nice, fresh, clear, clean water in here. And so this is the idea for this one. This is just something because I get ants in here. So these guys like it moist. So they're in, in the pots with the gravel. And the ants seem to love it. So I don't have the ants as such a problem in here anymore. But anyway, this is my aquaponic system. And it's been, like I said, it's been up and running for just a little over a month. This has only been up for not even two weeks yet. This took me a little while. I was having some problems as you can see right here um, trying different compounds that would seal this and the only thing that really seemed to do a good job is the silicon glue I've tried liquid nails this is a caulking and some other things oh I even tried Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue worked for some of it um, but uh, the aquarium sealant uh, seems to be the best for that but anyway this is my aquaponics unit and like I said, it's just everything in this greenhouse, it's a little 6x8 greenhouse, is totally run by this one fish tank. Now there's five pumps and five timers, but everything is all run by this fish tank. I don't have the big beds are, are separated. These two go off at a certain time. Those two go off at a certain time. These go off at a certain time. This is running constantly. Excuse me, there's four pumps. But um, this is the system, and as you can see right here, there's still some water in these. Uh, because these just got done done filling and you can see what the level is where they actually fill too 
and because it's two in and only one out so it takes it a little longer to drain but this is really a nice little system here and I am just having an absolute ball and I am tickled pink with this whole system and I hope it'll give you some ideas so that you can have some fun with yours. Take care!